Okay, so let's add a dynamic route to our project. So the first thing we'll do is make a Python function. So def, name it whatever you want. We'll make a view that returns a greeting and says hello, the first name of the user. So we'll call it hello. And it takes in the request as usual. And then we'll pass it the first name of the person that we want to say hello to. And now when we're returning something, we can use that first name to specify who we're saying hello to. So we can return an HTTP response and say an F string here and say hello. And instead of world, we can pass in whatever gets passed in that first name variable, like so. Perfect, so now we have this view set up that takes in this argument first name and uses it in the response. Now let's tell Django when to actually fire this function. So we go back to our URL patterns and we can add another path. So shift alt down arrow to duplicate it, options alt down arrow on a Mac. And this time for the path, we'll say hello. But then we also want to pass in that first name. But we don't want to hard code it like Sam because we want it to be whatever the user types in. So we have to specify that this is a variable. So we do that with square angled brackets. And then we specify the type, so string, colon, and then whatever the name is, so first underscore name. And then, as usual, specify the view. And this is called hello. So we say hello, and we import it at the top. Perfect, we save that. Now make sure your server is running, Python manage.py run server. Pull up the browser, and if we go to slash home, we still see hello world slash about, we still see about me. If we go to slash hello slash dom, we get an error here, page not found. It tried these. And that's because we didn't put the trailing slash here. So we want to put that trailing slash. So now if we save that and come back over and refresh this page, we see hello dom. So now we can also go to hello dom without the trailing slash and we see hello dom. We could say hello Sam, hello Sarah, hello Jill. Try it and type your name in. Awesome, now we have dynamic routes and we're actually passing in variables into the URL. This really unlocks a lot of power in Django. So I want you to try and create another dynamic URL and view by yourself and then we'll walk through it together.